happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap, clap. Hello, I'm Matt from Mantic. And I am Rich from Goblin. And uh, so last time we looked at your Northern Lines starter box, it was the, the normal army box, so I thought we'd run through what I've got for the Night Stalker side. Again, you get a nice range of, of miniatures, it seems like. Um, while with yours you had the Siege Engine, the Large Infantry, what I get is some nice fast boys, another hero, <laughs> and uh, more options with the, the Scarecrow and the oh, Spectre. Yeah, so you don't get a Siege Engine, do you get two heroes? Yeah, and one of them has the list of spells that you can go for your heart's content, and then the other one, uh, the Shade, is just absolutely rapid, firstly. Uh, and absolutely terrifying in melee, so. Is he really? This yeah. is the guy climbing over the rock. Yeah. Uh, just this chap here, he's yeah. fantastic. That's Painted by that lovely Martins, Martins yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've stolen everyone's uh, paint <laughs> scheme. Uh, and, uh, and so what what you get with these, obviously you get the, the three butchers, um, you get the five shadow hounds, uh, you get 40 of the scarecrow or spectre, so you can build them either way, yeah. like, uh, like we, touch on with the uh, the starter, the two player starter set, you get a really nice option to build either the Scarecrows if you want melee focused or Spectres if you want range. And so what you can do is, I've right here, I've got them in two regiments. What the nice thing is, you could build them as two troops if you wanted a bit more maneuverability. Uh, same with the Scarecrows. So I've got them together because I figured the shooting on Spectres is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted just a big blob of range. I think uh, you probably need them for later on when you unlock larger groups as yeah. well. Because two hero units is the same as my one hero yeah. and one siege, isn't it? Yeah, to unlock so. my, my second hero, I have to have it as a regiment. Um, and and so what, what it brings is just, as I said, just a blob of, of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is... A nice alternative to what I'm used to, which is sort of picking from either side. Um, but because because these build like 700-ish points each, yeah. we're below the thousand, so mm -hmm. we are disregarding so, to a degree within sensibility yeah. that unlock rule. Not just going to let you. Bring we like we, re we <laughs> recommend it uh, if, if you if you are building if it's less than a thousand points, just ignore the troop rule, have some yeah. fun with it, and and see what yeah. you like to use. So if you want, you will be able to split them apart, and I'm not going to. Stop you. Not gonna, not gonna physically hurt me. It possibly conveys <laughs> some sort of an advantage, but then I've got it too because I've got my group and I've, you know. Yeah. I've got. Um, my, so. so what I get, which is a nice change, is the the shadow hounds. Uh, firstly, they're nimble and they have thunderous charge. Yeah. So they're absolutely amazing for getting around on the flank. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, unlike most other cavalry, they have regen. So. <laughs> They're going to be sticking around, and you can get your other units to sort of lock them down, which is kind of what my butchers and scarecrows are for. Thunderous charge. They're stealthy. They have regen. Yeah. They're nimble and mind thirst. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> insane. So, so just to kind of round up what these guys can do. Apart from everything. Apart from everything. Mind thirst. That steals. That steals inspiring. Yeah. And so your uh, hero there has very inspiring, if I remember yep. correctly. So I get to steal that. Right. Um, and that will convey what to these guys? So no, none of the Night Stalkers, uh, to my knowledge, have inspiring. So what they rely on is taking your inspiring. Right. So because they're nightmares. I, so I get to roll twice on, on my nerve checks. Right. Uh, and I don't even have to have it. So I can just be near you and just be like, oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'll, I'll have that, I'll have that. And then they're nimble, so they can basically do an additional pivot throughout their movement. Yep. So you can like charge around an we object. We can do nice, nice corkscrew charges. Yeah, um, corkscrew charge. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so what it definitely allows is that complete maneuverability yep. and stay in power. It doesn't really matter if they get into some combat because they can last. And they can get out any way they choose to move yep. around with different <laughs> counter charges. Oh, yeah. Uh, they regen on a 5+, plus, and yep. they've already got uh, quite a lot of nerve anyway. Yeah, they're so on the they're on sort of the 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 mid range for them, which is which is nice for a, a troop uh, eleven to thirteen. They're um, stealthy, so I can't shoot them. Yeah, which is again. <laughs> well, I can, but it's just harder. Yeah, the perk of the night stalk is is that stealthy on pretty much all of their units, and so I don't have to worry about them in open field. I don't have mm. to go for a really wide flank. I can just sort of go on luck based and sort of charge straight through the middle and get and to it. Oh, thunderous charge as well. 
Yes. So even even more damage when I get into you, um, and and so they're just amazing. I yeah, and they're 125 to... points for a troop. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, is a terrible speed nine, <laughs> but they are irregular. So for larger games, yeah, you have to actively unlock them. Um, no, irregular just means that you don't. Uh, oh, they, they don't, don't count to all, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. I kind of. No, absolutely fine. Uh, so yeah, they, if I had a regiment of them, let's say, then they wouldn't unlock my ability to get a hero or anything. Yeah. Um, which, thank God, because uh, they are pretty powerful. Uh, so that's the way we've we've sort of toned some stuff. Yeah. Um, and then I've got my yeah my shade, which I briefly touched on, which is surprisingly fast. So speed ten. Yeah. Uh, so faster right. than the cavalry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah speed nine. Uh, and, and stealthy. And stealthy. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just going to plaster that all over them. Uh, and so once he gets in, he's he's got the uh, the melee on a three plus, which is amazing. Uh, so I just kind of need to get him into combat. And crushing strength. And he flies. And dread. Pretty much all their heroes have melee three plus, except the horror. Yeah, but then he's a caster. The horror is more of a spell caster. Yeah. So he's he's more sort of picking people off with lightning, mm. but what I love doing with anything with Bane Chant is putting it on anything that already has crushing strength. Right. Because then they just get in and start smashing stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, they've got some pretty horrendous stuff. And you, yeah. your army special rule, so we touched on that for the Northern Alliance, the Snow Foxes. Yeah. You have this, what? Scream Shard. Yeah. So, so what does uh, that do? So what, what it allows me to do is, when I use it and mm. uh, roll to damage, I can get Life Leech. So what Life Leech does is, when it completes its to hit and to damage rolls, in melee combat, you regain one point of damage it has previously suffered for every point of damage caused on the enemy unit up to a maximum of yeah. the end. So it's not yeah. it's not the roll that you've got to do. You are going to get it regardless. There's no roll. <laughs> you've just got to cause damage Yeah. Uh, up to the level of that. So if they were Life Leech 3, you could recover up to 3. So damage. much. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's pretty tough because a lot of your units have... I mean, the, so the caster has the ability to it. Is it uh, to have the soul? Um, the horror doesn't. Uh, options. Oh no, he doesn't. But your shade. Shade does. Does. Because my shade wants to get into the melee. Yeah. So putting a scream shard on him is going to be absolutely amazing. Yes. The units that I want to be in melee range basically mm. are the ones that are going to get it. Me throwing harder units at you. Yeah. So that stick around for longer means that you stick around for longer. Yeah. So should I just be hitting you with glass cannons? Is that what you're saying? I mean, they'll die faster and then they're gone. So but then you unleash the... the life and I can shoot you. But then you're stealthy, so I can't shoot you. Well, yeah. I can. It just will be more difficult. I'll still leech the life, but then I'll just move on, I guess. So it's, uh, it's a tricky one. Um, scarecrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and obviously the... Um, the boy, the horror, uh, forgetting his name, he was in the starter set as well, so he's, he's something that I already know, which is great. Uh, he gets a full list of spells uh, from Mind Fog, Lightning Bolt, Bane Chant, so he gets to either, you can choose him to weaken you, so you're not yeah. doing as much to me, or how I like to play him, which is just buff anything that I'm throwing into melee. Wow. And you can also give him an Aura Vicious, so around him... Oh yeah, you can. Around him, anything will get vicious, so you get to re-roll any natural ones. Well, so, he's got to stay up close there, hasn't he? Yeah, so I usually put him behind the butchers, mm -hmm. uh, and so he can hug them and tell them that they're doing great. Adjacent to the scarecrows behind the butchers. Yeah, uh, he's sort of their little pocket, uh, pocket bane chant giver. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, he's he's more of a buffer rather than the spell cast that you get, which are more just like yeah. lightning and doing damage. Well, it's interesting, because you've got quite a buffer. I've gone with the Ice Queen as quite a sort of crowd control mm. option, um, with the freezing and frozen breath and yeah. all that jazz. Uh, so th this will be really interesting. It's, it's going to be hard to call. I'm erring to the side of you being very, very powerful. I don't know. I, I know how good the Northern Lions are, so maybe we're just both being very humble. Maybe. But, uh, <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm interested to see, especially those Shadow Hounds, because they, they've got a lot of, of good stuff they can bring. Yeah, um, I'm keen to see those. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we're not going to know until we play our first game with them Yeah. Uh, and get into our <laughs> Vanguard Kings of War flip-flopping scenarios. Yeah, which should be really exciting to see yeah. how we do and how we all build upon uh, the armies that we have. Because uh, that's half, That's going to be half the fun, just sort of having a game, seeing what worked, seeing what yeah. didn't, and uh, and adding 
ten more butchers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I've got about a thousand snow trolls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That mega army box for the Northern Alliance is snow troll heavy. It is. <laughs> it's, it's very troop heavy because you've got all the berserkers, you've got the mm. ice nades, you've got the ice skin hunters. You yeah. have another block of thirty clansmen. Yeah. It's it's great and it gives you a lot of stuff course. to play with and and we know how good they are. So. Yeah. I mean, I think next time I might just go for an army like ogres, so I have less to paint. <laughs> that was that was Sonny's Sonny's plan, uh, uh, and it, it worked. And they're very good. Yeah. My God, they're strong. <laughs> ogres, they have some cool sculpts and cool characters yeah. in there. They're good. They're good yeah. chunky men. <laughs> <laughs> nice chunky boys. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I digress. That we is do. the contents of the Night Stalkers army. Yeah. Um, previously discussed the contents of the Northern Alliance army. Now we're going to get down to see. How they play against each other. Yeah, so I guess place your bets in the comments. Um, don't vote for me. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. Experience versus just youthful enthusiasm. Which one's experience? <laughs> <laughs> Which one's youthful out of the two of us? <laughs> God, I don't know, my crow's feet are coming out. <laughs> but yeah, vote, vote for who you want in the comments. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing, if you've, if you've picked up one of the box sets, if you've picked up the starter set, how you're finding it. Yeah. Um, and obviously, we have the, the Facebook groups and, and stuff. We'd love to see yeah, your, your paint jobs. The Fanatics group. I'm in the Northern Alliance Fanatics group as well. Yeah. There's um, a specific one that there's cop people. Oh, is that where you all hang out? Yeah, just for Northern <laughs> Alliance players, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, you and make like, my own group. Yeah, you can make nice nice night stalkers. Yeah, I'm going to have to. There must be one. Too many emos and, <laughs> <laughs> and stuff. Like that, That's how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what do you think of the sculpts? I think these are fantastic sculpts. Um, and I know people have been using them for other game systems too, just oh, yeah. because they're so good. They're absolutely amazing. They, I mean, obviously, um, I'm biased as hell, but the, <laughs> especially seeing seeing the the Night Stalkers in the Northern Alliance when we brought them out for Vanguard, it was like, mm. God, they're amazing. It's like the new Goblin sculpts; they were brilliant, yeah. and I'm really waiting to see the new new Goblin sculpts as well. Well, well, they're overdue. You you and a certain other person that works here, uh, it rhymes <laughs> with rhymes with uh, Rob. We all know it is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Bob rhymes with Rob. Oh, but... God. I mean, everyone knows who he is. There's no point in hiding. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little bit crazy, I've heard. Yeah, yeah, some would say that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's a big Goblin fan. Yeah. Um, which is one of the main reasons why I'm not playing a Goblin army too. Yeah. Because I won't really be able to play against him as well. <laughs> and no one is ever going to top his giant. With the... Yeah. Yeah, if you've seen it in the Red to Kings of War, absolutely yeah. hilarious giant is done with the with the spare goblins he had knocking about. Yeah, <laughs> Only he could do that. Yeah. But yeah, and uh, we'll we'll see you when we we come to battle. Yeah. Now what's left is we're gonna basically refine the finer points of the army, yep. play some games, and get into this campaign. Yeah. Um, very thematic, obviously the Night Stalkers coming into the Northern Territories, oh, yeah. um, and slowly build and play some Vanguard games and yeah. apply those uh, sort of end effects and start to learn more about the game ourselves. Yeah, we're going to touch on a few sort of bite-sized rules, sort of like counter charging, uh, how that all works. So if you've got any rules that you're not 100% on that you want us to make any videos on, just shout them out and uh, we can we can smash them out. Yeah, that'd be easy. It's going to keep yeah. us busy at least. Yeah, someone has to. <laughs> cool. Well, all right. thank you guys. See you next time.